What is up, everybody? Um, I am back again with another post-tournament uh, commentary video. This is from the monthly tournament that we had yesterday, uh, June 9th. Um, first match is against Superfly Samurai. He's a, another Shaheen player, former Jack player. Um, I just have a lot of Shaheen matchup experience, so I'm going to be playing the player more than the matchup, really. So here, like I started the round up with a down forward one too, just because I know that he's very impa impatient on the buttons. And right there, same. There's two more, two more actual patience testers, which is the NSS uh, two one, because it's safe on block. And if I do a four one plus two and he gets hit by it, that means he was impatient on the buttons and he tried to mash his way through. And then I did another one, just uh, just because he was he was probably going to be pushing another button. And then I just blocked, just because I knew that he was going to try to fish out with a with a rage art. Um, and so far in this round, just a lot of pokes. There was unfortunate that I couldn't get the follow up. No, not really. And he just didn't want to get up, so I just went for both hits. Alright, so in this round. I don't know why he's that far, but. He lost to, uh, he didn't punish it down back four with. Oh, there he caught my my whiff jab. He got the combo, and I noobishly did a get up three instead. So a lot of testing, and drop the combo. Why? I think I landed that combo twice the entire tournament. So I'm not sure why I was dropping a lot of things. Between that and me eating my throw escape windows, it was pretty unfortunate. Oh, oh and there he, he was just hurting too much. <laughs> like I think he he was expecting me to throw out a rage art. But I mean it is a mind game because so can't cancel I just went for it just because he was turtling up. He it made a quick uh, final hit for the for the round ending yeah, or match ending round. Um, and I think going into the second round, I was gonna do pretty much the same thing. Um, just a lot of uh. Patience yeah, testers, really. Like Jabs into right one ones, down back control. fours into nothing, stuff like that. But I got a um, off, so like I said, I'm playing more the player oh. than the matchup itself. Just because I know he's still fairly new with Shaheen. And by new, I mean maybe a couple months, really. So I don't know how comfortable he is with the character yet. So I know that he's anxious on the buttons in a lot of the situations. And there, I don't know what I did. I think I did an, another jab afterwards. Uh, nah, yeah, counter hit. Count the combo. Yeah, yeah, he just pushed the button. Like I know that he can, that, that he knows about the duck uh, on the high, but I think he was just really late there. Ooh, that was a horrible hot pick punch. Uh, and I did the one point plus two plus three there, just because I, like I'm hoping that he gets up with the get up kick, just so I can get the counter hit. Uh, one yeah. plus two plus three, and then I can just re wall splat him from there. Yeah, but, but I didn't have to though. <laughs> and there I went for the no sword stance okay. finger poke. <laughs> oh, that was a really far drive. Or down too. Yeah. Right. That's yeah, interesting. I wonder if that always mix it with. Exactly. If I just do the Kincho two, and he and okay. he goes for the four one. Does it always win? Oh, oh, another horrible happy yeah, punish, but it's just panic. he's just eating pokes. There's really not a lot of methodology to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Punish. And there I tried to get away, just back turn the entire time without overly spinning and killing myself. But I still took a lot of damage. Another patience tester there. And that was just me being dumb and just oh, empty yeah. jumping into down forward too. Oh, and then the final patience tester. The no sword stands unblockable finger Because that one's just, it's just it's unblockable. It's, it stays out so long. People think it's over and then they will always run in and just kill themselves. All right, so the next matchup is against True20Z, another one of our local guys, um, another Shaheen player. And now in this one, I have to play both him and the matchup, because he's actually really solid with Shaheen. Like, pretty much a lot of my matchup experience against him is, comes from him. So I know what to 
what to look out for for, for the most part against Shaheen. So there was a first patient tester, the one into the one one. Since he got hit by the second one, he's trying to step yeah, afterwards. Yeah, I mean it is. I mean the thing is Yoshi doesn't really have any matchups. Ooh, that was a horrible whiff. No punish down. So he's also keeping combat, and there he messed up, and he didn't duck, and he didn't duck it. He ducked that one though. So that's good. The wall. Hey man. Oh, I didn't punish that with the correct oh, thing. There, I threw that out hoping he was gonna try right. it. So, uh, try yeah, to do no, the slide, but he did something else and still, still got hit by it. Same thing there. I'm, I, I'm thinking he was waiting for me to go to the full crouch down forward four sweep. He was just eating the back to twos. Damage by true 50%. Let's see what he does. Blocks okay, he blocked it, it correctly. Oh, gets the correct punish. Oh, oh, I was hoping he would have moved to oh, get hit by the second oh, one, but oh, he did it. Like that setup is really good. Like if, if you just go for the for the wall hit and you just oh, no. whiff the first cannot, down back one and, repeat, and just do the both hits, if they tech roll, so she does like a 360 kind of swing. Never so it'll hit. Then, but in that point, he ended oh, up blocking oh, it. So either way, I was still safe, but he didn't give me the wall splat as I want. And there, I saw his low. Did the the worst juggle I've ever seen in my life, but it's all right. And there, like one one trick that I like doing against Shaheen players is I'll block their down forward one, and then I'll sidestep and block with and block, because they always like doing down forward one into sidestep down forward twos for some reason. Pretty much every Shaheen player does it. So. Oh, and there I tried to, I tried to scope him out because he was turtling, but he was smart. But yeah, so like a lot, of, a lot of Shaheen players do the down forward one into the side step down forward two. So like what I do is like whenever I block it down forward one, I like to side step with them and then block. But I think I was blocking too late on my side step, so I was getting hit by it against him. Oh, right, I caught the sweep on counter hit. Got up with the wrong thing, and I dropped the combo. It's okay. It's a the American reset there. Doesn't duck the high. Yeah, he's not ducking that high. I didn't. I, I'm not ducking that high either. So, so let's see here. we're good. And he's just anxious to push buttons. Cancels, cancels the delay and hits him with a kick. So Inca maybe because the down the forward one, three, three is one. actually really really good now. Going to say, going to so say if you throw it out and on hit, if you do a wall standing forward, they can't interrupt it. I don't think they can step it either. I think they can only step on block if they well if they block the down forward three. All right, so I think I was just going into the into the second set the same way as I went through the first. Just keep it simple, stupid, right? Don't overcomplicate life. It, it's let's be real; it's still Tekken at the end of the day, so you don't need a PhD to play this game. And usually, like once you figure out how you, like all your options are, you start simplifying all your options. You you just stop. Overcomplicating the game for yourself because that's usually where most of the blow ups come from. So I'll just all poke so far. Yeah, he didn't duck that. Caught him stepping. And I got a, a quick down back forward into there. Oh, there I tried, I think, to king show reversal, but I think I did it too late. And I got wrecked for it. So he dropped the combo, that's good. That was good. That was like the max range of four two. Yeah. Oh, there he got me. Yeah, like the max range of four two. A lot of things with, even though it's minus eighteen, just a lot of things just happened to whiff at that range. Do I go for the combo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even go to Kinjo. Like I was, like I was seriously getting a lot of odd inputs the whole night. So that I only did the wall standing one because I, I knew that he was going to try to duck afterwards. Uh, a shoulder run to keep him to keep him honest during that part. He didn't punish it though, so it's good. Same thing again. And there he just got impatient. Like you just kind of have to feel out the down forward ones who's. You can't throw him out willy nilly. That's why I said a lot of it is um me playing the player and in the matchup in this case. Well, in this case, anyways. So like I know that that's kind of his habit. Well, that was weird. 
Caught him ducking. He's not biting on the duck. That was a good size up. That was unfortunate for him. And yeah, he took too long to ankle kick me. If he would have ankle kicked earlier, I would have got hit. So let's see, patient tester. Yeah, so he got hit by it. And there he he rolled, so he got hit by the cross dash one. Like a neat setup is you do the cross dash one after the the forward one plus two, and if they roll or do anything, they get hit by it. But they're, if they hold back, there's a there's a, like a little one or two frame window that the cross dash one launches. So it's a it's a legit um, back roll catch. It's a pain in the butt to hit sometimes, but it's a legit catch. No, oh, there I was hoping he would duck. He didn't punish me for it though. Mainly because I, he knows about the follow-up hit after. So he doesn't want to eat that on counter hit. Yeah, he's going in on the buttons there. That was good. That was pretty much the main way to get out of that one. Aside from side rolling. And there I saw it, but I did the wrong punish. Like I still take the round, but I did the wrong punish on the on the race drive with. You just do two one instead of one one. But I, I guess I just wanted to play safer. Not sure why, because I had the round lead and everything. I think. All right, so for the next matchup, I play Keldrum, which I played last uh, monthly. Um, he's the king player that always does the race drives, and he's really good as far as poking goes. Um, he his these, his movements actually really good. Um, and coming into it, I knew that he was gonna throw a lot, so I was trying to get ready with the with the throw breaks, which kind of was backfiring on me, because I think I was inputting the throw breaks way too early. Cause there are a couple times where you can see where like I'll actually do the like. I'll see the the one plus two throw coming, and then I'll hit one plus two way earlier, and then I'll go into Kintro. And then I don't know what I did during that time, but I would eat the input, and then just mess up my entire throw throw break attempt. All right, oh, that's a bad punish, and he just ran in. Oh, and the combo dropped, but I still hit him with the head. How weird! Like a lot of the stuff I don't see as the match is going sometimes. So I, like, I'll catch the odd little things during the replays. So it's just pokes. He ate the low there. Good forward too. Oh, I got the hook. <laughs> and I got two drops back to back. That could have been, what, 70-ish damage? But nothing. I got like 20 out of it total. Oh, and there I ate the one plus two. And I think that delay on the Kinjo, kind of threw him off a bit. So he twitch ducked, which is one thing that I've noticed that he does. Like he'll try to like fuzzy guard, I guess, or just like quickly duck at range. Cause like that's what he was doing to blow me up on the sweeps as you'll see later. Another combo drop. Oh, that was, the, that was another miss input. That was supposed to be the butterfly kicks. And I got a random three. Nice Nah, I hate Raphael, okay, so he's doing down, down fours against back turn oh, stuff. No, that was nice. He went for the reset. Dropped it. And then I dropped it. Oh, and got smashed. All right, all right. Like, I was hoping he was going to like run in and do like another alley kick. So, big whiff on this, on the double-handed one. Like, on that setup... Like I've noticed that he doesn't oh he doesn't tech roll or back roll during that time. So I'm just getting the free hit afterwards. And usually when he does, he's too late on blocking low. So he'll eat the slide and then I'll get the free hit afterwards. Well, that was another miss input, but either way I probably would have gotten thrown. Or a reversal. Just because I was doing the same move again. I was gonna do butterfly kicks. And then that was a nice setup, I didn't know he, he can he can beat out everything, even a, a quick get up. Because I, I was literally just standing up there. That was a good duck and, duck and punish on that one. So throughout this, he's actually ducking everything that he's supposed to. See, he's twitch ducking, so every time I do a back two, he ducks. 
which I should have used that knowledge way earlier and just done a raw back to one. But I always went for the for the back to two, just because I was giving him. Uh, um, what's the word? Like benefit of the doubt, I guess. And there I got up into the unblockable, but let's not talk about that. I was just newbie-ish. Because you can get up and duck it. And I was just getting up and blocking. Which I should have done is like get up and uh, bad breath. Because I think I have enough time for that. Or if I was smart, I would just, you know, get up and duck. And then launch him for it, but... I'm a noob, so it's okay. Alright, so... Coming into now into this set, I knew what to look for, and I just have to pay attention to the throws and when he has rage. So he ate another full crouch sweep, and another. So when he when he blocks a low when he gets a low block, he always blocks standing. I should have did the back to two. That would have that been guaranteed. And there he's just pushing buttons. I did the wrong punish there. I should have did 2-1 instead of 2-2. Two, two. And horrible throw break. <laughs> it was like horrible throw break number 37 of the night. Oh, and there I just got up way too late. Well, too early, I guess. Because you should always wait for the for an, an attack before getting up. Especially against King. So there he's ducking after tech rolling. And that was another... Um, Patience tester to get up off the floor because he ate the full crouch down forward, uh, the one part of the down forward 1 3 or down forward 3 1. And what I do is, as soon as I hit somebody with the counter hit sword swipe, I do a down forward 3. And if it hits, that means they're getting up way too early. So by, by a button or it's just getting up or side rolling or whatever, because that's the only way that attack hits. And there he he's not ducking the 1 2 1. Nice, I, nice, I got that throw break. Caught him ducking. Oh no, I caught him doing a a hop kick. Oh, that just barely whiffed. Oh, that was a good two one. Then he gets a full respot. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know what I did to get hit by that. I think I just sidestepped and blocked too late. And there is like he did that by beating my back two. So I don't I don't think that's 14 frames. There's no way that move is 14 frames. And then now that throw break number was at 38. So here he's just being he's just doing the basic king pokes. So full life against my no, no life. Okay, so he's pushing buttons when he's not supposed to. Missing his whip punishes. Caught him pushing up. Oh, him. Try to bring it back. If he goes, oh, oh, and I ran it back. back a lot face. of defense. Oh, a little bit of defense on my part. If Too much my defense on his part. Their match, come back to the booth. Like probably what what would have broken there is if I would have beat him with a with a suicide. So he's pushing buttons after the down back ones. Or down forward ones, sorry. Ooh, I don't know why I did a back one there. I missed that throw break. That bro throw break attack was a one. Because one thing I noticed is like whenever I do ones, he, he never necessarily breaks them on the first one. And I noticed that during this set, I was always matching one. So that means he's all, like by the looks of it, just based off his habit, is he always goes with the two throws on the ground throws. Same thing with the crouch throws. And the only thing, only thing I have to pay attention is when the wall is near me, because he'll always do the giant swing with the back to the wall. He rarely mixes it up, which I should pay attention more when I play him, because usually when I'm at the wall, I'm just aiming for him to whiff a high. Just so I can get the flash in. It's a lot of things to work on. These commentary videos are awesome for me. Just because I can pick out all my mistakes. And there's quite a bit. So now let's see. So he pushes buttons after a 3-4 on block. 
That was the first time he ate the full crouch sweep and didn't push a button afterwards. He's, he always does the, was it while standing one after it. Which I don't think he realizes that you can't interrupt the wall standing forward if I do it. Okay, caught him back. I'm holding him back to turn around. Yeah. Another throw break goes to number 39. Uh, I attacked that at least. Check it, once you hit the ground, you take less damage. Oh, oh. 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 the jab ate my yeah. rage jab. Okay. So the long con so far is me not attempting to block the lows. Even though it is making this match way too tighter than what I want it to be. And that was a miss input. I think that was me trying to do the butterfly kick. Just because against a back turn, I get the butterfly kicks, dragonfly four for free, if, and then horrible with punish. Horrible counter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Caught him twitch said, ducking at range. Kind of entering there with a back fist. Yeah. Okay, so I go for the yeah, damage yeah, jump. Oh, and I was not expecting to do that though, because he was that far away from the wall. I didn't, I didn't even think it would wall splat. I don't know. I, I, it, I don't think I delayed the one one, but the game said otherwise. There, I did three ones, just because the second one hit him, and since the second one hit him, I want to do it again, just because I know he's he's trying to get out of there, and he did. So he yeah. ate all three ones. Granted, he sidestepped and then need me, but like that just shows that he's trying to like move when he's not supposed to, or he's trying to move anticipating me pushing a button after I get frame advantage. Well, he's not breaking generics. Like I like I don't know if he actually button maps the one plus twos and whatnot. I never bothered to look at his um. Has his control of layup Counter when he hit. plays. Oh, the wall kills him. Wow. Which nice. would make sense, because usually yeah, people yeah, that button map 1 plus 2s, yeah. they'll, they're they're more likely to break the 1 plus 2 throws than the generics. Or the, sin or the single input throws, like yeah, say, uh, like Steve's quarter uh, circle back the, throw or whatever. The 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 they're more likely to break, like say, what is it? Chains of Misery or Paul's like pushback throw or whatever they're most likely to break those in a, a normal throw oh yeah it, yeah that's that's it. that's what i'm telling you like if 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 you if, if you sit there and you don't beat him within that time pr time frame oh it, he just goes from being like let's like, see i think this is the one where i catch him maybe no <laughs> it might be in the other sets all right it's, it's, that's just me thinking out loud but um okay so uh, the one time I commit to a double poke, he th he does the ankle kick. So he's pushing, he, like he's trying to test different buttons against Yoshi's 4 4 4. So he's anxious, so he's pushing buttons after the first down too. Ooh, horrible flash. So he went for the throw again. I did the rainbow drop to put him against the wall. So that he's pushing a button after eating the full crash sweep. So I should time, technically with that info, always do a wall standing four afterwards, because he cannot interrupt that. Oh yeah, yeah, everything does. But just the fact that ankle kick, yeah, ten hit. Oh, ten hit! Wow. Okay. Oh, good duck. Good duck. That was a good block on him on his part, and he didn't launch me, but at least he knows to what to look out for. Wow. And he there is. I did a forward one plus two, like, and what, that beat it. And I don't think I don't think that's faster oh, that than 17 crazy. either. He, I guess he got the read from everybody. Oh, low parry. Okay, here we go. The quick low parry there. He's not getting up, so I'm taking my free damage. Oh, good. Oh, uh, Mr. Punish. Commander Conker coming back. Oh, wow. So he's not pushing that. buttons Mark after the forward one four. See, there he goes again. The full crouch sweep. He's pushy. He does a wall standing one afterwards. He doesn't realize that it's that you can't interrupt Yoshi there. 
So there, like with that knowledge, I should have stopped, like, going for, like the the safe bet, and then just forcing the whiff, because he's always gonna whiff regardless if I do that. So I should have did down back, as far as the recovery on the on the knee. And look, dropped it again. That would have made it the match a whole lot closer. And then another drop, Jesus. Oh, at least I broke that throw. Okay, I, I did flash that at least. Another job. I don't know why he went for it. And I don't know what I did to get hit. Yeah, he, he, he looked greedy there. You don't end the final round with lows or lo was that lows or throws? Those are the ones that always backfire on you. Alright, so that long con still works. Oh, that, it might either be that he's just ducking, so like every time I do a down forward one, and like it gets blocked at like full range, kind of like the the last oh, sequence, I've been going for the full oh, crouch four. Oh, I it. Like that up back four that happened, that was supposed to be the rage art, the the flash rage art. Just because it does a grip against the elbow, especially the the, sum, the somersault, it counts it as an airborne, so it gets the 70 damage scaling. And I don't think the wall would have been in the way to interrupt the, the jump. That would have made that set way closer than what it was at the end. But either way, lost because I'm a noob. Milked the low for way too long. And it was horrible on the throw rigs. Sweet. A lot of things that are, that are on my checklist to work out before CEO. And a, a lot of things that were messing up, like a, a couple of those full crowd sweeps was the... Like I was trying to buffer the four 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 through the crouch, the crouch dash, and I was just get I was, I think, I'm guessing I was holding the down forward, the down the diagonal down forward for too long, where I should have just flicked it and then tapped forward to get the knee. But oh well. All right, so Noda's match. This is Noda. This is our the last matchup that I'll have with Noda as far as tournaments go because he's moving to Atlanta. So um. I don't know what happened there. My, my two buttons just didn't want to work or something. I don't know. That should have been a standard juggle. That's so hard. Nothing, nothing to call out. He's ducking. Whenever I, I run in, he ducks and he does the wall standing for. Uh, there for some reason. No, it still would have hit. Yeah, it still should have hit. So there, he's ducking now. Whenever, whenever I'm, I'm dashing in. I didn't answer Kincho. So here he's ducking. Yeah. So the one into the one one again because he tried to move after eating the jab. Or he tried to press a button or something. He baited that. Oh, and he pushes buns after getting hit by the two down three. Which I think it, like it's nothing super major as far as frames go. I think it's like plus one, but or is it minus one? I have to double check. But it's either plus one or zero. So he's pushing buttons after it. So that knowledge against him, I know that I can. I should just back dash after I do the, the down the two down three. Okay, so he's not moving on the block. He tried moving after the 1-2 on him. Which a lot of people don't realize that move is like, what, plus 6 or plus 7 on him? And I don't know why he went for that big low. Oh, and I ate the corkscrew already. I should've just went for a big... Like the back 2-1, Kincho 2, or forward 2. Instead of trying forward 3 at the end. Could've been, it could've been, or like a nasty backfire on my part. Yeah, they just actually announced them. I saw the trailer for it, like, last week. Alright, so on this stage... Like, what I was just gonna do now is I was just gonna keep it simple. I wasn't gonna overextend unless I see him start to over, like, turtle excessively. Because uh, everything that I was doing was working. Like, he wasn't adjusting until, like, maybe the very end. It, it just didn't seem that way. Seriously, there should be a way to skip these intros on tournament mode. 
Like tournament mode should just disable the start button during the match, nothing else. Okay, so he didn't run in. He's pushing buttons after the wall, so after the sidestep one. Uh, I caught his entry there. Do a horrible whiff. No punish really for the most part there. There, I, I spun just to realign myself out of the corner. Cause I didn't feel like trying to set up like a wall run to switch spots. Uh, miss input on his part there. You see the miss input or he, he didn't think my back dash was going to be big enough to avoid the low. So he's pushing buttons after the one twos. And he stopped pushing buttons after the two down three. Good with that. And that's a drive. And I thought I was back because mine's like what, 30? And basic line, all the right. There I tech roll too late. And I made Yoshi kick instead of tech roll. Like I was mad too because when it happened I was like, come on. I, I, like, I, I was in the tech roll window. Okay, so he didn't push buttons after the down one. Uh, correct duck. Wrong punish, my part. And I don't know what I did there. I should have just launched him there. Ah, so there he was hoping I was gonna flash or something. Oh, and I tried to squeeze in the jab through the kicks. Because I saw the first one whiff. It traded in my end. And, and it gave me the round, but it was still risky. That was good on his part. Most people freeze up when Yoshi is in the King Show and he goes into the helicopter. Then usually you can squeeze in a, like a Dragonfly 2 punch. So I went for the Oki. Okay. He didn't push a button afterwards. That's good. And he didn't punish the, the launch punish hole version of that. Good with punish. Uh, and he turtled. I know he didn't like that. <laughs> Nobody likes getting hit by the suicides. Just cause like it takes just, just jump. If you jump, Yoshi takes most of the damage and you take partial damage. But the whole deer and headlights thing just works out in Yoshi's favor almost every time. And here he's taking a little extra time to, to gather his thoughts. That's something that Noda does a lot. Which is smart, <laughs> especially if you need the, the time to like to let the previous set kind of like marinate in your head to see what you did wrong and what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be. <laughs> but in the end, it's all useless. It's all useless against me. <laughs> yeah, it's tripping. All right, so I was gonna pretty much keep the same thing and not overextend really. <laughs> okay, he's not moving after the one. He's trying to backdash after the down forward three. He's hoping for a button there. Like, I should really use the down back recovery on the knee against Warangs more. Because I don't think his 12 framer reaches that far. I did a sidestep one, and then that was a mistake. That's me being an old man, can't push two buttons at the same time, kind of thing. So that was supposed to be a meditation. Oh, there. I did it again, but it was supposed to be that. And I got a kangaroo kick and lost the round for the. And that was a wrong punish on his part on the low sweep. Ooh, that was good. Like I don't know if he was there expecting to make my single jab with. Not expecting the second jab, but it just worked out in his favor there. Alright, so the back ones caught him on a float. I switch positions. And I go for the unblockable because he's turning, turtling. Oh, what I should have done is gone for the suicide there because he was turtling. And I'm just gonna kill him. Oh, right. oh, and I drop it. Should have. If it hit, it would have won. Oh, and I beat the ball bunny three. Ooh, I don't know what I did there. Okay, here we go. Head walk, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think I like he 
he timed it. Oh, and there, there was again another time where I was, I was trying to tech roll. And there, I went for the Kincho. I had a tech roll when I was too late. Or too early, because you see the animation of Yoshi going into the stance. And there he went for the obvious throw, and I got the sword sweep. And I go for the extra hits and spin spin. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't do the jump. I should have did the jump. I would have got him. So he's not pushing buttons after that. That's good. Oh, he ducked. So he's ducking when I dash when I dash in again. That's like an old habit of his. See? <laughs> yeah, I caught his goal. Missed the follow up. Oh, I should have did the cross dash one. Oh, that worked out for me. Because the up forward one is unpunishable. And he jabbed afterwards. Ooh, that's a big buff. He didn't do anything though. See, he's pushing buttons, and I missed my Punisher. I went for a cross dash one, and I got a jab instead. I ducked the correct, but I didn't punish it. Man, there's so many dumb little mistakes I'm seeing. Ooh, no throw break. Ooh, and I think I went for the Rage Art Flash. But I didn't have enough time. In it. All right, let's see what's up now. So he so he was adjusting by pushing more buttons there, which is kind of like what you want as a Yoshi player, because then once people start pushing buttons, they start playing more reckless, and then once they play more reckless, there's more openings for you to throw in a flash. And there's more openings for you to do a, a back three or a back four to evade certain things. But I think he continues being reckless. And I, I, and I think I missed a lot of punishes on this one. Because this stage is triggering something in my, in, my, in my mind. Let's see, so just doing pokes. Okay, he punished that. I punished the whiff of three. And no throw break. That's like about four, number 42 and number 43. I'm telling you, man, I am eating these throw inputs. That's the only explanation. Got a good whiff punish. Oh, that was a horrible launch. <laughs> that was just one, two. Who does that? Oh, come on, any other one plus two, and an obvious one. So he's micro ducking there. Oh my god, and I wasn't even a wall standing too funny. <laughs> telling you, man. And then, yeah, he's back to tech rolling and ducking. And so yeah, that was a misinput. There's no reason to start with a kangaroo kick. Now he has a round opener. Alright, so that's better than nothing. It's like the lower end as far as damage goes for a punish, but hey. Ball game? Yeah, he's not ducking. There we go. God, why am I getting those inputs? <laughs> And yeah, that was good. He saw me roll and he went for it. That's something new that I learned from the last uh, from the last tournament. When he has rage, treat him like um like the king matchup. Just get up off the floor. And then I was waiting for him to push a button on get up, but he didn't. Oh, he did a back one when I threw him. And he's not and he pees on him again. Yeah, yeah, I came back just in time to see that. All right, here we go. You guys are playing for, you know, more money, though. What am I, what am I doing? Yeah. I'm gonna have to, like, watch this video again at 60 frames. Or, like, at super slow speed to see what's wrong. Oh, dude. He's on him right back. And he did the back three. Is it back three? I think it is, right? Yeah, because back four is that mid one. No, 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 back three is a launcher. 
Oh, I so, think that's the right foot no forward back three. No pressure, no pressure. The the biggest thing the Yoshimitsu versus Marang matchup is you're going to see a lot of back and forth. All right, so he adjusted well on that back and forth that's it. Sort of normal to poking, right. whereas Yoshimitsu wants to condition you to press buttons after. Okay, I think this match was close too. Because of his because of flash. Right. And like this so is actually the closest the he's gotten to like eliminating me in the tournament. But he's learned quite a bit Yoshimitsu since the first time we played him. He has very he's no longer just <laughs> mashing and through everything. He's, a real boy. He's, they gave he's actually trying to pay so attention and then respond <laughs> to what he sees. Are we back at it? Like he could only play proactively for so long. I did not expect to go this way. Yeah. That's a good part. I, I also, to be honest, didn't expect Keldrum to go this way. I know Keldrum's good. I'm not going to take that away from you. Oh, but that was just. Yeah. That was crazy. That's a weird set way of saying it's smashed. So he's not pushing yeah. buttons, and I don't know why that hit. <laughs> I think it's minus nine, and it launched me. <laughs> oh my god. That was a cross dash. Two input that became a quarter circle two input. But pushing a button again after the one two one. Luckily, he didn't get countered it. Oh, that, that was a rat, uh, flash. Because he got hit by the second back one. Nice, I it's a low flash. high poke, but right. it puts you, if you follow up with back one, it puts you in a uh, frame I advantage that. situation. That that panic back one got me. So, no duck there by Inka. Good down three there. Oh my god, that was such a, <laughs> that was a big and misinput on his part and me not so doing absolutely anything really afterwards. Really nice, so we're even. Copy right. obvious flow, like that's that. One read. Oh no, <laughs> that's another misinput. Son of a bitch. That was an obvious dash flea run. That turned into a dash meditation. <laughs> so, got the throw break. He doesn't break generics. Okay, caught him with the back hole. Back catch. What is he doing? What is he doing? Peacekeeper. Oh, he jacked way too late. We are on match point here. For Inca. Woo. Okay. That can happen there. Now, okay, he, that's good. He's not pushing buttons after the two down three. Inca has a light lead. He has a light lead, but he can go away in an okay, instant. Okay, he didn't do his mid that time. One backlash or one peacekeeper. Oh, or yeah, it is. Back three, but it drops. Oh, he dropped that. That is so, I think it was the angle okay, he was he off axis. Okay, he And so he fell faster. Good. Wanted to start ending and, uh, oh, he made it out the, the stomp spins more often. Very nice. That was so he, he, smart. It feels like he's always like expecting me to cancel it. Oh, try to sidestep with him. Okay. Okay. Oh, and he responds to the rage drive. Rage drive. Yeah, That's risky because I'm already at plus six. It. I should have just so did a down four one is. two and ended the whole set right there. All right. And this is only losers final. Yeah. Grand final. Oh my God! Horrible punish again. That was a wild standing two, and I got up back two. Okay, he's trying to move after the ones. Yeah. Okay. Just for skyrocket. Okay, he didn't oh, fall for the jump gimmick. Jabs him out of that option. Very smart. Not wanting to let him get started. The down three four. Oh. Throw All break. Right. Oh, he put the sword away. He's got different options here. Yeah. Both in. Uh, he's in looking for now. some. Oh, that. Okay, it's probably that he's looking for the the punch. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure like that's what he was trying to fish though. the whole turn. Very strong that was a great that was a fantastic match. It's like I didn't want to overextend. <laughs> uh, Alright, so now this is back to Keldrum. This is the grand finals. I have to reset and then another set to win. So based off the previous set, Hopefully, he, he still remembers some of the, the conditioning I added. Great oh. duck there. Okay. He, he knows. Oh. He knows. He's, He's still on point on the back two twos. Since they started. Yeah. So that's good. It's a very hard oh. oh, and there I tried to flash on wake up. Great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like I wasn't going to tackle there, so it's good wow. that he went for that. Yeah. Heldrum is on a tear. Like, like I was just waiting for King to go into the air, and as soon as he goes into the air, I was just going to roll forward and avoid the somersault. All right, he's trying to move, trying to move again. Yeah. So he's trying to open up again with, with jabs. 
was good. Stop, no punish. Oh, he's back to pressing off standing one after the full crash before. And I wasn't paying attention to the fact that he had rage. Oh, and I didn't punish him. I could have ended the round right there. Actually, at least I broke that one. No, he didn't block it. Oh, these mistakes are annoying. All right, um, let's see. Not blocking though. That was the first time he actually tried to jab and got hit by a wall stand before. So, oh, I, I held it too long. I should have just did it on the first bounce. Great throw break there. Okay, broke that throw. He's not pushing buttons after the four one plus two. Okay, he ran into that. Throw one again. Yes. So I spin, jump. Yeah. The good old back turn flea. If you don't know how to hit Yoshi, don't try. <laughs> Because you'll eat well. damage. Yeah. Like, you'll see a lot of green back dashes, a lot of great side steps, okay. side blocks. Oh, they all was just twitching to see, just to make him yeah, do a hop kick, but that he didn't do anything. Oh, that's a good trade. Yeah. Well, it's not it's trade, but counter hit. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. good. I like it. Yeah. That perfect I think that was a legit down forward four that I went for. Oh, yeah. Open up with a hop kick. What did this, I do there? I think I did a sidestep one plus four one plus two. Okay, he's going for the basic oh, hits. Yes. Frankenstein does not there. work. That is, that is legit set up into the throw, like any seasoned player knows that like when, <laughs> when King does that forward flip, just hold down back. Oh, and there he broke th the soul siphon through. <laughs> into giving him life. Now, yeah, he pushed the button. And I get no combo. Because... I'm not feeling my job. I went for the reset, but the wall ruined the whole thing. Alright, I don't know what that move was either. Like, I don't both <laughs> yeah, the commentators are confused too. How about the soul siphon throw? Yeah, in case you don't know, that throw, when it lands and they don't break it, Yoshi steals life and then gains life. But if I do the throw and they break the throw, Yoshi loses life and gives them life. So it's, it's like a double edged sword kind of thing. Which also that. proves my point that he I might be a 1 plus like, 2 is mapper. Because that throw is a 1 plus 2. I, what? <laughs> and pretty much every single time I think I do do a 1 plus 2 though he doesn't break. There was I think maybe 1 or 2 okay, so total that he did not break. Probably gonna see more but a majority of them he did break. Because they're pulling out all the stops. Oh, yeah. But the generics he never did. So yeah. that's my little theory on uh, Alright so I went for the damage for combo. Let's see, spacing yeah, the thing is with is that he has so Oh, much I missed time. <laughs> like, I was trying to, like, same thing as, like, the previous what? tournament. I tried to make the back the back turn kick whiff, but I ran in a little too close. Oh, God. That was, uh, that was a miss input on his part, I'm sure. It's not in here. Yeah. It's out, it's out there. Alright, so I stole that one. Well, not just necessarily stole, but... I stole the final hit at least. So he's pushing, yeah, he's pushing buns or trying to move after the four, down four, three, one. Okay, so he entered with a two, one, got counter hit. High position change. I'm trying to get him to duck. Oh, good. That was good. Right, that saved me there. Like, I was already mashing two, so. Because now, for every single ground throw, I'm going to start mashing two, so I remember I told myself. That was a good block on his part. Like, I'm not even changing the block pattern, so it's not necessarily a mix-up mix-up. Because I'm still doing down forward 1 into full crouch 4. Or down forward 1 into down 3, which are essentially the same thing. Both launch point are lows. Just, they have slightly different range. And different frames on block. So he's not tech well enough. Yeah, he's getting impatient now. So, oh, I didn't go under it. I was hoping that would have gone under it. Oh my god, what in the world was that? <laughs> a four neutral three? Oh, that was As fantastic! Okay. <laughs> like that works, but you have to hold down. So Yoshi sort of aims low instead of just mid. Dash, into the, into the and, and he crushed the, the bad bird and then beat me. So I'm dashing in. Yeah, so he's pushing. He's trying to move after getting hit. You have to condition someone to, to not break him. Not, not even break them, to not do okay, let's see, does he do it again? Yeah, he tried the hop push. Uh, oh, he did it again. Because he has to commit. Oh, he messed up. He yeah. Yeah, and he's pushing buttons after getting hit. But 
down ones can only work for someone for so long. Reset off of that with Larry. Because after the back turn one two, I have what plus two frames I think two or three or something. So the back turn down one trades with jabs. Well, it should I believe. I have to, I have to go back into my notes, but I think it trades with jabs. Hurt himself to put himself into rage so he could get access to rage drive. And his the only time it doesn't work is against the, the yours. So an up four four or whatever would have yeah. would have beat me there. That's from like next level shit. <laughs> like, it didn't turn out that way, but it was still next level thinking. Yeah. And we got another infinite. Fun. All right. All right. So let's see. I think I was just gonna do the same thing. Just keep keep compact as much as possible and try to confirm when I'm gonna get hit. So there, there's his so Twitch ducking is right. starting to like reset, to be a little bit more obvious. So he's ducking. Anyway. When I'm back turn, he's ducking. Yeah. He's, 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 yeah. he's anxious on buttons. Oh, uh, right. Obvious low is obvious, right? Because I think at, after this round. I, I make an effort to start doing the the, the, the buffered, the buffered four four fours. But in that situation, I got the the knee because I didn't flick it enough. Like it has like a little odd timing. Because like the the whole animation is Yoshi starts low and then it he does like the little wiggle crouch animation to make it look like he's doing like similar to what Law and um, Shaheen players do, right? When they do that little crouch dash, so you, you're so essentially mimicking that, but you you. Buffer yeah. the forward, 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 and it just crouch cancels like automatically on its own, and and then he comes out. But if you mess up, you get the sweep, and that was what I was getting, like the, in the last two attempts. So he's not pushing, but oh, okay, so he is. Oh, and there he caught the entry point with the wall in point. He tried to get oh, reset, and then I tech rolled. And he tried to move after the down forward one plus two two. And you remember that little rule I said when king players do that side step thing? Don't push buttons. Wait for the king player to, sh to, sh to show his card. And he did. And I punished him for it. So keeping it compact. He's pushing buttons after the down two. Uh, the two down three. Alright, so he blew his load on the, on the power push. Yep, pushing buttons after it. Good duck. See, that's is the moment that I should have started started introducing the back two ones. Oh, there I tried to catch the, the throw attempt with the sidestep flash. I think I was just a little too late. Uh, he got up wrong. He got up holding back, and any hit that Yoshi does during the hop would catch him back turn. All right, so I caught that entry point, dropped the juggle because I don't know why I went for that juggle. Ooh. Yeah, see, like he, he has a habit also doing down forward one twice. So I should have just jabbed and I would have won that whole battle there. But nope. Hindsight is amazing. Yeah. And that was another one of the, the buffers because he saw Yoshi wiggle and the knee didn't come out. Okay, so he's anxious on buttons. Great throw break. So, he's, so he stopped trying to step after eating a jab. Okay, so he didn't like that one. I think I'll go for it again. Oh, he tried moving again. So he wants to get off, off the floor now. Yeah, pushing buttons after it. Okay, so he's twirling up now. Yeah. So for the, the for this next one, I think I was gonna going and can get you into test the out the knee a little more because <laughs> I think I, I give it two more attempts on trying to do the buffered version. And if I, if I was starting to get the low again, I was just gonna stop doing it, and I was just gonna start just doing the four 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 raw. And I think it started to work out a lot more in the end. And we got another infinite. 
That was after random select. At least it's a different stage. Same infinite though. Yeah. Let's see. He breaks the two, pushes button afterwards. He ducked when I dashed in. So I take my free damage. He's not pushing button after the four. Okay, there he is. Because he, he saw that it whiffed. Mm, see, I, I went for the four, 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 but I was too late on that. But okay. All right, so here he's considered airborne, so I can go for the full damage, Joel, with the seventy scaling, and it almost killed. And he went for the obvious though, as an in there. I'm telling you that that rage art is so good against airborne attacks, especially because like. You can see what if the move is going to be an airborne attack or not because of the, the rage art freeze. Oh, there he's pushing buttons after the one to one. Oh, I should have stayed in flee. He would have got hit. Ooh, I think my for a wall standing four there. It's either that or a, or a flash. Okay, so he went for the obvious here. And I didn't punish him for it. Good kill there. Yeah. Oh, and I dropped the juggle, but it still, still benefits me some. Yeah. I, I think I was thinking of doing the down one unblockable again. And then just probably canceling it. I don't know why I stopped. Probably because he, like, he got up and started moving, I think. I think that's the reason I, I, I aborted that mission. And then I was not expecting that. That shiny wizard. That was a point blank one. Do I drop this or do I actually finish it? Oh, <laughs> that was that was going to be a sword sweep. And I messed up. And I got a big jab. And we got a double KO there. Man, oh, oh went for the Atlas Yo, Hammer. Atlas, Atlas Hammer was not punished by Inca. That's minus 24. Okay. Yeah, but he hit those earlier. Yeah, so yeah. like I missed that punish so huge. Crunch. So I'll go to finish it. Yeah. So he's pushing buns again after the four one plus two. And on broken yep. throw number 48. Okay, so he's pushing oh, buttons after that. So, so like pretty much once I gave up on the buffer and I just started doing the forward, forward, fours all raw, he started benefiting me more. Because he's doing that, he's Mike, he's trying to twitch stuff at range because he's expecting that full crouch down forward, four to come. Including the knees. And I think um. Pretty much all this does is this sets up the mid and on tech roll situations, like say at the wall, it starts to open up the sword sweep to catch people on, on tech rolls. Because otherwise people don't have any fear of ducking against Yoshi, especially at the wall, right? So people can just be aware of the flash that occurs during the sword sweep, and then if they see the flash, they can just jump or, or hop kick it or whatever. But you have to like start introducing moves that cover the tech roll, like the mid options on tech rolls. Oh, and then he did a dick jab into the. What was it, T1 and Dragon? Yeah, and the Oki off of it. He didn't break it. Oh, that was a really good step on his side. It's too far, I think, though. Oh, I missed it. And look at that. Another unbroken throw. And yeah, that was just. The streak continues. Oh, okay, so I reset it already. So this is, this is already the reset. So we're, we're essentially on even ground now. And the thing about me is like I love long sets. Who I jabbed the, the running knee. <laughs> and I didn't break it again. I think he gets wall on this one. No, I didn't tech roll though, so I might as well <laughs> might as well get the hit by the wall. Oh what I do that. Oh there again. That jump was me trying to do the rage art. And the counter hit that. do I go for it? Oh, he kicked. Yeah. Wow. Like you have to get up off the floor quickly and then step to avoid getting hit by the by the meditation three. So here I'm going for the basic juggle. He he holds back, gets hit, and now I think I, I just continue the 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 wall pressure. Oh, whatever. I'll take that that punish. It should have been a down forward too. And I, I essentially just beat him just with pokes. Because I don't think I landed one jungle that round. That's crazy. So, mids. Keeping mids, keeping him true. 
Yeah, see, he's ducking whenever I, whenever he gets up, he ducks now. Because he's expecting the full crowd sweep. Yeah, see, so, so now every time he tech rolls, he's getting up, but ducking. Which, honestly, is a really bad habit. I think I was just gonna do the same right, game plan. Um, I would say and just try to look out for the the forward twos, because I know that it is a wall stage, like and he loves doing the forward twos near the wall. So if I pay attention and not twitch okay. duck and get hit by the forward twos, I should be able to duck the highs every time. So he's poking at range. Oh, I missed the block one. Oh, right, right. Oh, good oh, stuff. Sidestep hump, yeah, great, great choice there. Bread and butter? Oh, he changed it up. Trying to get him close to the corner. Oh, there it is. Thank you for the flash. I dropped the juggle, though. Yep. Story of my life. There it is again. I oh, tried to flash it. Then, uh, mm -hmm. right, oh, there you go. Do it again. <laughs> Persistence. Yeah, it starts. I think it's. There's, it depends on which flash you do. Oh, oh my god, he clipped oh, it with something. Stuff, I think he's going to the wall. Do I die? Do I die? Probably. Yeah, yep. that was good on his part. Because he knows I was looking for something to get about the floor safe with. I'm telling you that that buffer is so annoying sometimes. And then he tried to cheese me out again. Come on. It only works once. And twice if I'm not paying attention. <laughs> it's a good way to cover your, your mistakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, what was that, uh, that George was saying? <laughs> fool me once, shame on you. Yeah. Fool me twice, you can't fool me again. <laughs> yeah. uh, the greatest president yeah. with silly quotes. Alright, so he's up a quick two rounds on me now. That was good, though. Alright, the wall I go. That was good. Oh no, I no, missed that break. Oh, you missed the DDT earlier. Alright, so we we'll have to oh, here. The the I get somewhat of a jungle. He tech rolled yeah. up again. Oh, oh, let's see. No, oh, he didn't hit the wall. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> like that weird little stutter stepping with the duck. Uh, like I was just trying to fake the, um, the full couch sweep. <laughs> so I was just trying to make him stay ducking and like it still worked out and in my favor so. he's pushing buttons the again right when he's not supposed to i'll okay. take my free hit get out the hop kick. kick and he tries to move afterwards oh, i didn't duck that okay and so a raw knee yeah. them. The micro, the micro ducks that i'm gonna start doing that just start doing raw like knees He's changing his flash timing, he's changing his like timing. Yeah. Oh, missed input. Yeah. Run, shining wizard. And into giant swing. Noticing that no tech roll, because why do that when I can heal myself, right? <laughs> Breaks the giant swing that time. Right. Yeah. That'd have been rude if he was giant from the Oh, see, now I started implementing the down back after the. After the 4 4 4, and it worked out there because he pushed buttons. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Nice, I, I did another safe push pattern there. Because he, he was just anxious on pushing buttons. Because it, uh, we've seen and it was kind of obvious there. Tactics in real time. Right. It, in between rounds, he's made that adaptation. Right. And it's impressive because he's been playing Tekken for God knows how long. Right. He's seasoned. Yeah. That's the sort of thing where it's like, as some of the new players yeah, try, right, so I, I think it was up, like at a certain point. The plan a now was you keep it compact, but instead of doing the, the full crouch sweeps, 
because break it out of the basically. out of the norm and just do and the moves out of it. Habits, it tell and the only lows that I was going to be doing were like, the combat cores and, and the sword sweeps. So like well, the yeah, yeah, sword like, sweep so only if I get the opportunity for. Oh, there I got as a counter hit, so I just totally contradicted myself just now. Thank you. Oh, I should have did a Dragonfly 2, because he blocked the forward 2. You can't interrupt the uppercut. You can only interrupt the kick. I should have paid attention more there, because he was really happy on the buttons. Okay, caught the whiff punish. Oh, yeah, he's just pushing buttons after getting hit now. Pretty obvious. Oh, that's like the last frame that I hit me. Ooh, good dick jab. That saved them the round there. Okay. And that was the knee buffer failing once again. Oh, and yeah. then I tried to do the Kinjo reversal. Because he saw Yoshi put his hand to the side. I guess I was just late. Or maybe I didn't have enough frames on it. No, it's a one frame thing, right? Should work. Or two frame. I think Yoshi is on the second frame. I don't even remember exactly. I just know it's really fast. Okay, hit confirmed it down to one. The down to two cock hits button. Oh, I tried to up, four, up three plus four it. I didn't have enough time. And I didn't break that again. And I held it back to get up off the floor. And the down forward one was free. Alright, so I'm just opening up with a crack sweep. I don't know why. Oh, he... That was a good whiff punish, and I didn't break the throw again. Okay, good whiff punish on my throw. Okay, he's not ducking. Okay. Oh my god, that was a 2-1. Exactly. Oh, there you go. See? <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Man, no throw breaks. I'm telling you. Like my list of things that I have to do. The Naruto wall escape. Oh, and I'm feeling myself if I went for this job. Yeah, I guess I'm feeling so myself after that, that last sequence. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna use it. No. Yeah. There are no such thing as bad moves. Use all of them. Mm, no, getting no. the ducks. Ooh, why do you go for that of all things? And I ended to fall down, yeah. It's very hard for the, anybody to get anything Text on you. That. There we go, so he's going now for the ground throws, and I instantly went for the two, for the two break. That's incredible. Which leads me to believe that on the right side of his controller, if he is button mapping like how I think he is, the two buttons on the top right are for 1 plus 2 and 2 4. And then he might have 3 plus 4 and 1 and 3 on the left side of, his, the, of the top buttons. Because really sure usually people are like top those top two right. on the right are like their their twitchy blocked. reaction he buttons. Just because they're they're on the same side as the as like the, their main button input sides, right? So, so see, that's probably why he always goes for the two throw on, rolls, in a lot of situations. Good revelation there. Yeah. That's probably why. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. That's uh, that's how he has his um his button mapping set up. Alright, let's see. So we get the Akuma stage. Starts out with generic throw. I break. Oh, I didn't punish it correctly. It's still a 13 frame punish, but it's not the right one. That I want it. Okay, he went for the obvious throw. I got the sword sweep out of it. Do I go for the Yoki? Yes, I do. Side Good step side step on after getting great. hit. Go into his bread and butter here. So he's not he still has no regard for his life. Because he was about to die. It just it just takes one just solid juggle there. This hitbox looks hmm. way bigger okay. than it is. Right. Uh horrible yeah. punish, that's fifteen, that and I went for a wall standing three or oh, wall standing one one. Alright, so he's twitch ducking again. So That's the only reason that would have even hit him. Big punish, big for it. Right. Okay, he's patient off the floor. Ooh, hop me. I don't know why I did that. Ducks and side rolls I should have just did the crossover Come version. So right. Right. Like we're seeing the changes he's making in real right. time, and it's working out. Oh, okay, I'll yeah. take that. He was probably expecting something else after getting hit by the down back too. Yeah. 
Oh, and I go to the damage yeah, ender, which is the correct choice. What Keldrum should do? So I, I feel like here he's ma managing the poke. Right. He's introducing hop. Okay, so he's pushing. Like that was just a quick low, test. I wasn't gonna do a sword sweep after the down back two. I just wanted to see what, what his actual gut reaction was, and it was a down for one. Kind of situation where he doesn't want to be. Okay, the wall standing won't beat the, the landing of the capital punishment. There he's tech rolling, and he's not blocking. Okay, that was really far away. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was going for the giant swing there. Okay, that was an obvious little answer. Okay, not biting on the hop kicks. I don't think he's landed a hop kick yet. Aside, um, unless it was like the, a big whiff hop kick. Ooh, oh, nice. Nice. Hey, I broke one. Okay, so he's impatient on the buttons. What do I go for? Okay. Yep. Same thing as last time? Yes. And I didn't break it just like last time. I gotta really figure out what's up with this. Alright, so he's not breaking 1 plus 2. Do I go for Okay. Oh, yeah, I went for it again, but he got hit by the back one. So Yoshi auto jumped out the way. Do I go for it again? Yeah. Oh, any back dash this time. Okay. All right, he's ducking again. Oh, tech rolled, a tech rolled into duck, and that was a blatant tech roll into duck too. So that, so there we go. I called it. <laughs> um, I was like the like any time that I go for that setup, and he tech rolls at the wall since he's ducking, it opens up the sword sweep and presta. There it is. So yeah. Um, Oh, there's a lot of things that I added to my checklist, uh, things that I have to work on for CEO. And this video just kind of like reinforces it a lot into my own training regimen. Um, but overall, this tournament was really good. I had to like reevaluate my game plan a little earlier than I normally do because I have a tendency to reevaluate my my match, like all my all the testing, all the moves that I do, that I do to test people's like habits and whatnot. I usually wait to like the end of a match, right? Because there's a, a little bit more time for me to recollect ideas and whatnot. But in this match, I, I was doing it in between rounds. And then as the set was going on, I was getting that, rec like all the, the data downloads. I was using it during the round, during setups. So it was it, like, it was a good pace. Cause I used, like I said, like I just wait and this kind of forced me to stop waiting and to react more to the knowledge that I was getting earlier. So, yeah, like overall this tournament was dope. Um, I appreciate you all for watching this long video because I think this one's a little longer than normal. We're about to be hitting the hour and 15 mark, which is pretty big. Um, so if you stayed in this long, thank you so much for uh, watching. Um, I do this mainly just to give people an insight of what really goes on in my head when I'm playing. Because being a Yoshi player, most people think that I'm just YOLOing all the time and partying all the time. And there's more than just that that are, that's occurring in my head during these situations, which everybody goes through. A lot of people aren't like, uh, what's the word? They aren't very aware of what's happening. They just do. They just do things, press buttons and whatnot. So with this video, I'm, I'm sure it helps you guys understand why. I do certain things, why I try to evade some things, why when I get input in certain situations, it's best to not push a button. Buttons shouldn't be your first reaction to a lot of situations. You know, but all right. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you're uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And yeah, if you, if you like the video, thumbs it up, guys. And yeah, thank you once again. Catch you next time.